Hi, I'm Susan Haas, and I'm here with George Hibben of Rookwood. And we were here with George a while ago, and we continued talking with him about the Rookwood pottery. And as a realtor, I know we often want to call things Rookwood, and George is going to give us a little tutorial on how to tell or not tell what Rookwood, what is and is not Rookwood. Probably one of the most frustrating parts of my job is trying to ascertain whether an old installation is Rookwood or not. Unfortunately, the best way to figure it out is to take a piece off the wall. Most people can't do that. So what we look for instead are the subtle colors, the tans, the grays, the greens, that typically were old Rookwood. Today we have an obvious signature backing on Rookwood tile that denotes the old from the new. But back in the day, there was a reverse R and a P on the back. And so you really have to take it apart. A lot of great pottery companies that were in existence back in the day, they did wonderful work. Rookwood has a legacy all of its own that tends to stand above. And uh, we hope you find one in your, in your home. The lesson for me as a realtor is to say it's Rookwood-ish and not try to pretend I know whether it is or isn't Rookwood. But thank you and join us again next week for another Scoop 60. Cough Hunter Haas Realtors and you.